Please, madam, can you give a donation to MF? Uh, <laughs> only. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much for your donation. That was very sweet of you. For regards. just saw was, was our interpretation of, of the difference between the regular dark mailing hamster wheel when you every month are sort of spamming your, your supporters with stuff that they haven't asked for. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry to say so, we have been, we have been there, uh, but then, then we uh, was... Uh, Introduced to something called Donny Journeys and uh, the world changed for us. So, um, just want to introduce another thing. Could we do, could, I, could we introduce the concept of, of short applause and, and long applause? Okay, if, you, if you're with me, short applause is like this. Okay? Everybody, come on, short applause. Excellent. And then long applause. Okay? So whenever I call, call for applause, you're with me, okay? Okay, short applause. You don't come. Okay. Uh, why would you apply Donor Journeys? And we will first go through shortly the concept of Donor Journeys, and then we'll uh, stand up, take over, and uh, explain how we have sort of segmented our, do uh, our database to apply this. And then I will briefly go through how we actually set it up uh, conceptually and then Steiner will at the end in the end go through more the technical thing how we actually have applied it with with uh, different trigger actions and so on. Uh, so the concept of, of donor journeys is that you want to be you want to be personal. Oops no No, one more. One more? Yeah. <coughs> there they are, yeah, they're personal and respectful. The thing is, you want to be personal, you want to be respectful with, with people because we, I mean, if you ask people, if you ask people, what they sort of what you have achieved when they look back at their life when they're really old. Most people want to say, I, I want to have done something good in life, you know, I want to have yeah. um, I want to have done something good in life. I would have done you know, I would achieved something. And for me as a fundraiser, 
working in an organization that's exactly why I do my job, you know? And I want to, to uh, connect with people that also want to change the world. So, so, sort of, we are all in this together. The sponsors and, and donors of MAF is part of the, the, the organization chart, you know? When we, when we map out the organization, we also include the, the, the sp our sponsors or our donors because they are, they are paying for all the stuff, you know? Um, so, so we have to treat them with respect. We have to value them. Um, so what we, have, what we have to send to them needs to be relevant. And it needs to be two-way communication. I asked Catherine her name. You know, and I addressed her with her, her name. I hope I spell it right. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, Almost. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take that later. <laughs> but the problem is, you know, if you're going to do this, you're going to do this with tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, you need to do things automated. Uh, because uh, else you, you, you can't you can't handle that many people. But you could you could automate stuff in a clever way. Okay, I will soon leave the, the word to Stella, but I will first introduce the, to you the 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 thank you. A green light now. Excellent. The the fundraising pyramid. And very briefly it's on top, outside the pyramid, is all the people who haven't heard about her charity. And then you have uh, more and more, uh, or higher and higher grade of, of involvement, the further you get down, through major donors and, and volunteers and, and even people who are turning, uh, turning on to the stuff. So this is sort of the, the um, we keep this in the back of our head while we're working with this, so that we apply the right amount of work to the right amount of people. Uh, and then, finally, one thing that needs to be said about donor journeys is that it is tailor-made uh, so that, because we know that it's ten times more efficient to keep one donor that you already have than to go out and recruit a new one. So it really pays off on the, on the bottom line there. Uh, and uh, that's why it's important to, to uh, keep focus on, on attrition rates and, and the donor journeys will help you with that because they, they will help you look at and, and, and follow up people that are about to fall out or just have fallen out so you can get them on board again. Okay, stand by. Is it on? Uh, can you all hear me when I'm talking? No, I need both. Yeah. Um, we we used to be activity centric. That means that uh, uh, Martin, he's the fundraiser. He came up with a good idea. That's a good idea. A good fundraising story. And I make the story. Ah, it's perfect. I need to send them to all because it's a good story. And we had this, uh, this is happening each month. Uh, Martin is needing to find a, a new story, a new story. And if the story is good, the fund is good. If the story is bad, it's not so good for us. But all the time, it's uh, starting on the activity. And then uh, we try to segment, and then we send it out. But actually, the difference here is that we have started with the segmentation. We have put uh, people in groups already. So uh, when we are planning an activity, we already know what kind of people that should receive it. So we are starting with a target, with a target group. Then we uh, went into, into CIVI. And we took all our donor database, and we uh, managed them into different groups. We decided on criteria, 
what criteria should be in each group. And then we made uh, eight groups, and we also made it uh, well, one principle is that you can only be part of one group at a time. Um, yeah. So, in some sense, this is uh, back to the basic. Um, here in, in the uh, fundraising pyramid, it's, it's many uh, organizations that demonstrate that about 20% of the donors contribute with about 80% of the funds. And we tied this uh, for us as well, tied to segment uh, on percent, and it's the same for us. 20% of our donors give 80% of the funds. So the idea is that then we should uh, be more uh, personal, relevant to those. Those that are not contributing so much, and we could send them mass mailing. Um, so the level of uh, commitment should re reflect how, how much time and resource and, and how we deal with them. Um, yeah. Our group uh, was Platinum. That's the, our top donors. And we have a group called Gold. There we have put all recurring donors, all that have pledged. And in Silver group, we have uh, all the people that have given more than one donation. Uh, and in bronze, people that have donated once but are not active. And uh, we are an aviation company. So of course, we are talking about flight spotting. That's the people uh, hanging around the airports looking at the planes. And the same here. They are hanging around looking maybe into entering a, a journey, but they are not there yet. And then we have a group called Departure Hall. Um, all new donors um, to MF, they come into this group. And then we try to treat them as good as possible for us to discover uh, as soon as possible which, which group should I be in. So that we don't uh, spend too much effort of, on, on those, but we put them here if they are possible there. So it's kind of um, putting our effort and resource uh, where it uh, gives most payback. And this here, this is real numbers of our return on investment on these different groups. It's from January to August. And platinum, that ruined my diagram because that's 544, so that should be like this. But you can see here, um, you see this is the partial platinum, gold, silver, bronze. Um, we, we get more money back here, and therefore we should spend more money on that. Um, it all comes down to di differentiating communication so that we can be genuine in our communication. We want to be personal, relevant, and real with our donors. And here we have a video illustrating the need for being real in our Communication. So if you are a church can see it afterwards, I can get you the 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 YouTube. All right. Uh, this is uh, the actual spreadsheet for the MAF Norway one off cash donors. So there were people I've given cash, they end up with where all the red dots are. And depending on if they're given by SMS, by Visa or MasterCard, or by uh, online banking, they will sort of 
this silo must put this Wi-Fi node tracker on. So we will send an SMS back, email back, or, or mail in the mailbox. So, um, 21. We will have a CD display. Thank you. We'll, we, we're sending out practical letters within, they will have it, have it back within 72 hours or less. Uh, SMS and email is, of course, immediately. And then, 21 days later, we will send them an extra peel for the same, on the same topic as they, as they sign on or in the first place. And then, depending on if they're responding to that, even another the second appeal, they will receive a thank you and be uh, uh, ready for a response from us. Or they will get another appeal trying to secure their very important second appeal. So just to, just to show you this, this very first one, we'll not show you, show, show you all of them, but just this first one. Uh, we have, it's not Corona, but uh, since we're an aviator organization, we have taken these old airmail envelopes as our sort of uh, company envelopes, and we have the small old ones, and we have to handwrite them, and they're with real stamps. And then inside we have this letter, printed with what looks like, looks like old typewriter, and it's on this thin 40 gram paper, you know, like the real one. And there, there's two pictures, looking really like uh, the, um, the Instagram, now they, what do you call it again? The, uh, Polaroid. Polaroid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very that's, that's what it is now. And then, you know, all the, all the this is A4, B pages, so pages, and we have cut them down and, them up to be. So, we, so that? that's that's the gyro. That's what Norwegians sort of. Here's the data that you need to enter the the, the reply step. Yeah, the reply not the reply step, but you you will enter the account and some some uh, ID number in your internet bank. Most I mean ninety five percent of Norwegians are are just doing email internet banking. So a few are sending these documents by mail to the bank and they process it. So. Um, so it, it is hand packed, and, and we even we even do this with the envelopes, so it should look like it comes from far away. So to be gentle, you know, it's important. So and then and, that, and that's the first shot. So we do we put the most effort in the first shot, and then and then um, we do different stuff here. Uh, if you don't sign up for this for as a sponsor, uh, but give a donation, we will have a thank you and then a special May 12 page magazine about MAF. And if you say yes to the to the sponsor us, you will go into the gold program uh, and so forth. So, so this is a nice it's a nice plan, and it's and it's. Uh, will work really well. But so what will happen? The next month, you know, you have some green people coming in to raise some food. And then the next month again, you have, have some food, yellow and some green here, and then the red has split. And then the next month there again, you know, you have blue, you put, and then people are putting up. And then when you come here, you know, it gets pretty uh, difficult to keep track. And we've been running this manually for some months, and, uh, and Steinberg's we've been really uh, struggling. But this needs, this can only work uh, as long as it's automated. And that's, and, uh, and well, I will leave to Steinberg. He, he, needs, he needs a short applause. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will just uh, pause on this picture before I move on. Um, each point here is an activity. And for each line, it's uh, a time frame. And uh, you can decide going there if it's a contribution or not a contribution. So it's uh, uh, different rules for going to each, each activity. Uh, how we solve this in CSM manually is to say each 
of these are a group as well. It's a group of people. And at any point of time, if you are uh, in that group, you should have that activity. And uh, after, um, if you are in that group and you are contributing, then you get a peer. So uh, the group is kind of uh, extra level uh, securing. Mm. Yeah. Um, Eric and Jap, they have made this extension for us uh, called Trigger Action. Um, we started working on it in April uh, this year, and we have tried this on live this week. Um, so, two applause. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually why that was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the uh, um, extension is based on a simple logic. It's about if, then, and when. If something is happening, then something should happen, and at what point. So back to this, it's all about if something happens, then this should happen at any point of time. <coughs> Here is the setup of uh, one of the trigger rules for the if. Um, this user interface is looking uh, much like uh, the search builder in, in uh, CSM. Sorry. Um, and you are here you are putting values from the database. Mm. So here, here we have uh, on the entity activity. And here I have given the subject, the status, uh, activity type and form um, a date period. So this trigger is uh, triggered by um, activity with that name happened between 39 and 46 days ago. Um, and here I have a trigger for another uh, entity for contribution. And here it says uh, the status should be completed, but here we also have uh, some extra uh, functionality. Uh, counting, so this is actually the third uh, completed con contribution. So if this is happening, then the trigger is, is set. And what is going to happen? That we can define. And here uh, we have an action rule. Here we can set uh, using the API. Uh, here we have created a group. So here we also have has the token. So the people that are triggered, they are in here. And so this means that uh, here we have created a group membership for that person. And here we have more complex um, entity. It's an activity. And here I have set the details for uh, or, or the subject of the activity, saying uh, this is the third gift. You should call them. Um, and I set the activity uh, type for phone call. And I set the status for schedule. And I put the target, it's the person triggered, and the assignee contact, that's one of the staff members. So this will actually uh, turn into an activity that could be on the to-do list on the dashboard of a staff member. Yes. And then we are on to uh, when. Because we can combine these, here we have uh, the name of, of the trigger, 
and then we have this find uh, the action. Uh, it could only it could be many triggers, but only one action that is logical if you <laughs> if you think about it. So uh, here I have added the uh, the action that I have already done on the um, on the action rule, and here I have set the schedule using uh, PHP time formats so that I could say um, this trigger is okay, but it should only run on Sundays, or it could only run on Tuesdays, or uh, only the first Tuesday of each month. Uh, and that's enabling me to, um, if, if the trigger is to send something in the mail, then we can uh, uh, distribute it throughout the week, that some are triggered on a Tuesday or some on Monday, and so it's not happening all the time. Yeah. Uh, and here I have uh, set the triggers. And I can combine uh, different entities or different triggers. So here I have set uh, that you are part of two groups and you have the activity and you have the contribution. And when all those occur on the same contact, then and at that time, then this action is uh, performed. Yeah. Any questions at this point? Short applause. <laughs> yeah. This is maybe a, a bit technical, or, <laughs> or no? Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so is it like an AND, this has to be true, and this has to be true? Yes. Uh, uh, it's possible to have OR as well. Um, but here it's AND. And I have put, uh, put it for different entities at the same time. So that means that this will only trigger if all of them are true at the same time. Yes. Any more questions? No. Um, so this is where we are at the moment. Uh, we are experiencing what, what are the limitations at the moment. Um, we would love to have more entities as triggers. Now we can trigger some, uh, if an activity has occurred and others, contact, contribution, email. But we, we would love to have like a custom field if a custom field has a certain value. Um, and we would also love to compare values, like if activity date is before contribution date, um, etc. Yes, all, the, all those are kind of uh, specific for this, this extension, but on the action side, uh, we have uh, hopes that um, o o this functionality um, goes beyond uh, the extension. Um, because we are using the API, and um, um, the API has some, some restrictions for, for what we need. Uh, we would love to select a template. We can create an activity, but we can't decide on what template uh, that should uh, accompany. accompany it. And we could also uh, schedule an email activity or an SMS activity, but we can't actually send the uh, email or send the SMS. So this won't, at the moment, uh, it's not happening automatically. We could trigger an activity, so it's t uh, there in CV, but we actually need to trick, uh, press send to make it so, uh, happen. And of course, uh, being paper-based, we would love, love this to happen, that I, I come to work and I just log on, and there I have the PDF letters ready to print.
we have started a, a forum on the CVSAM forum a board uh, called the Donor Journey Forum. I've, I think some of you have been there. Uh, but we would love to see more people there. Ilya is here, yeah. Eric. Mm. No. Yeah. Okay. I will uh, just wrap up that. Um, and then we can ask some more questions in the end. So this all started with, uh, with me being introduced for a really nice spreadsheet by uh, somebody called uh, Rupert uh, Tuffin. Exactly, and this huge translation. Um, it's actually a replacement that shows you the Achieved nice a while to do that. Then we talked to him and he introduced us to this and and we said okay we need this and then we realized okay we need we, we ditched the existing database that we have and we need to find something else. And we understood this is possible to do it in, in CVSRM, so that's why we're here. So all this technical stuff comes out from our desire to be personal, respectful, relevant and, and have a two-way communication with our donors to change the world. So that's so that's why we do this. And then uh, we are we really want to join and share and and uh, and share with you what we have <coughs> developed so far and if uh, anyone of you want to join forces with us to, to take this to the next level, you are very much welcome. So um, that's pretty much it for us. Um, do anyone want to ask me or Steiner any questions? We forgot to introduce ourselves because we were so... Yeah. <laughs> 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 we thought so hard about this uh, way of us. Yeah. Anyone want to... Yes? We don't have donors, but we, we do want to take you on a journey now. We hold events. Uh, we say maybe. Now, yeah. what I'd like to be able to do is So, can you change the parameters to anything you like? Yeah, uh, I think that's possible. That that would uh, need you to record the bones, and if you record anything the bones, then you can do it. And and that that would also imply for postal mailing, because we have this uh, this uh, complicated spreadsheet, but it's not working if you are not receiving. Um, and something is, uh, with the email, you can say it's bones, but also in the post mailing, if you missed one, then we should stop and, and do it again. So it's important to, uh, to record the data in the first place. And then uh, it's possible to do what, whatever uh, trigger and action you want. It's just up to you to s remember it and set it and say, ah, if it's a bounce, then this should happen. So it all comes back to having a plan in the, in the first place. Um, have discussed what should happen if that, that is going to happen. Um, yeah. Did that answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yes, please. For this to be uh, fully automated? Yeah. Money. It's more about money than time, actually, yes. So. Uh, I'm not a developer, and I don't know. Okay. But I think that uh, it's Eric and Yap who has made it, and, and I think they 
did it in possible to do it with others, but you need to try and you need to talk to them. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I just want to add something b yeah. because uh, uh, one thing that's easy to miss out here is that this here, this could be complicated for me to set up, but actually one of the benefits is for him because he's doing the marketing and uh, he needs to prepare a new communication every time. But what we actually are doing here is saying, oh, for one year, this is the communication package. When that's set for, for a new donor, it doesn't matter if another donor had this communication for two years ago. Uh, it, it just needs to be personal for you. Um, so that can uh, enable, enable uh, him to actually spend his time on writing love letters for the Platna. But I will just add on. <laughs> you know, so you write love letters for your new, new donors, uh, and you pretty much, from experience, know how they will respond. And uh, because of that, you can write an extra letter to them. Then you can have, or you can mail, or SMS, or, or whatever you do. And then you can have it all produced, and once and for all. And it's just there, and, you, and it's good because we have, you have experience, so you, you make good appeals. So all of those appeals for the first year are really brilliant, you know? And they're tailor-made for new people. You introduce your organization to them in a clever way uh, to increase their interest and their, their trust and, and, um, until they give you a donation. Uh, and you've done that, so you can just delete, or you can delete it and you can just monitor Okay, are they falling off? Are the people stopping donation, donating after two, three times? It could be doing something to increase the response on one of these mailings. You could do that kind of, of, of approach. And then you could, you could just leave it and you could go talk to your really best donors, your top donors, and you can ask them face to face for a huge amount of money instead of you know, spending time writing appeals people that just came on board. That showed that was like one of the good things for me as a fundraiser. I have really saved so much time. Yes, please. Uh, I think early on in the presentation you mentioned that your contact is split them out into eight different groups and they could only be a member of one group. Is that because yeah. each group is a part of a different part of the journey or something else? Yeah. You when you come into this departure room, you know, you will move through a, through that and then you will be part of, of a group that have your seed mode mailing and, and thank you letter and you're due for your third appeal, you know, and then you're part of that group. And at some point, we will, you will take the decision or we will help you take the decision and we will, we will put you either in, in bronze, silver or gold. We will sort of, the, the, the donor journey, the, 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 the departure hall will sort of the function of that is to place you in one of these other main groups. And then they are both time and, and response driven. So uh, if you make a donation, you will, you will receive something. You know, uh, when you're pledging, we don't have to appeal to you anymore. You, you, you will do a donation. That's what you signed up for. So, so um, and then when you receive your first uh, pledge donation, you will have this special thank you video for, you know, thank you for for giving your first uh, pledge uh, donation and the CEO or I or someone will, will, uh, will uh, talk to you and, and then after a month, if you haven't heard anything, something happens, if you see your, your third donation, you will have a Another video, or you have some other rich media in your inbox, or an SMS, or a handwritten um, uh, thank you card, of course you're, you're no gold, you know? But so we will spend more time with you. Uh, so that's sort of the, the, the thinking. And then, then you will move, you will be either a gold member that has given for the first time, for the second time, for the third time, for the fourth time, for, you know, for five years. So we, that's still new groups. 
And so you, you realize that there will be huge amounts of groups when, when this is rolling out all the time. But you will still be, be just part of one, one group at a time. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you can That's use exactly. use trigger action to uh, move from one group to another group, but uh, the whole idea is back to back to uh, what we are starting with. We are always starting with a group, and if you are a member of one group, then we can be certain that you have not received the other things because we are targeting that group, and if you are part of uh, multiple groups, then that would collapse. So it's just logical. It's not, of course, you can be part of different groups in in CV, but yeah. Just one at a time. Yeah. You could also talk with Erik uh, Hommel and Jan Jansman about this, because they have been working really close with us and set this all up. So, uh, so if you have technical questions about this, you could, those are the guys you could talk with. They wear orange. <laughs> yeah. Any more questions? Do you think the history of the movement of people, say, for instance, somebody got from bronze to silver, but then falls back to bronze again, will he receive the same communication as the first time he was in bronze? Um, the group uh, movement, or what group, it's recorded in CV. Uh, it's, a no, it's a table for that, mm -hmm. so it's recorded. Uh, other than that, uh, we are kind of new to it, so, <laughs> so, so we, we are not there yet, but we should, we should. Well, the, 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 bronze, the bronze group, if you describe it, it you will receive two, two direct mailings annually, that's it. If you're silver, you will also have four magazines, and they will be different each time. Because we will, because the, the the magazine we we will spend some time on anyway because we're sending people in gold and, and platinum people as well. So and that's important. You put a bonus into the magazine, so you will receive something valuable, and then we will twice a year also add on with with two two uh, regular editions. So and they will be perhaps the constant will be the same, but the constant will vary from year to year. So so. But before, you know, we, we did that every month. And we depended on that. Because so we depended on you being brilliant every month. And you, you're not brilliant every month. You're, perhaps you're brilliant once a year. Really good, you know? So, so instead of you know, taking that chance all the time, you can, you can take all those from your, from your uh, history, or all, from the history, all the, all the really best things you put together, and you can, you can present that to new people. So then you can send them something that's almost brilliant every time. <laughs> Anything else? Any advice? <laughs> Long applause. Long applause, yes. <laughs>